What is going on everyone? It is Mark with another video and yes, we are at the tail end of November aka Movember hence the mustache. I'll leave a link down below if you guys could donate it's, it's a great cause. It's pretty much men supporting men by growing facial hair. I, I chose a mustache, you can grow a beard I guess. It's a great organization that, that kind of supports all of men's health, in particular prostate cancer, testicular cancer, uh, men's mental health, whole bunch of great stuff. Anyways, I'll leave a link down in the description, you can read up on it, and if you can, donate, it's a great cause. So today, we are going to be taking a look at a keyboard. No, not the world's most expensive keyboard, no, not the fanciest, but a mechanical keyboard that will be pretty much within everyone's budget, and it does a great, great job. So, here in front of me is Aki's 87 key mechanical keyboard. It's got blue switches, very clicky, very satisfying. This thing is going to cost you around $34.99 Canadian. What is that in American? Let me pull it up here. $26.99 uh, on, on the American store there. Great deal, great value. If you guys follow this channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Aki. Um, they're very budget friendly, good quality items that really do, uh, you know, do the trick very, very well. So, in the front of the box, you're gonna get a very typical kind of Aki packaging, nothing fancy. It shows you a picture here of the keyboard. Aki 87 key mechanical keyboard, and uh, that's pretty much what you're going to expect within the box. So, let me pull it out. There we go, nice plastic wrapping. Already hear the keys clicking. Protective stuff going off to the side. And boom. Bada bing. So it is an 87 key keyboard. That means you're gonna be missing the whole number pad thing on the side there. But overall, it's pretty small and pretty kind of compact footprint. Keys are properly spaced. Wow, did you hear that? It is of course wired um, and uh, essentially, yeah. It's a very budget friendly, very, very practical and very good keyboard. It does come with the blue switches and uh, it actually comes with one of these key removers so you can actually take a look and if you need to switch something out, switch it out. Essentially, it's the blue switches, so this is what they're gonna sound like. And one great thing about this is that it's also spill resistant. What's great about that is guess what? If you spill something when you're typing, when you're playing games, not the end of the world. Shake it off and it should be just fine. Uh, is it waterproof? No, don't dunk this under the water. But if there's a spill that occurs, it is not the end of the world. You are covered. Yeah, so last thing I gotta do is kind of plug it in, see how responsive it is. I brought my computer, I didn't bring my dongle. Okay. I've got my dongle, plug it in, click. Three, two, one, there we go. We've got power, and there we go. It is plugged in. Let's go to uh, the notes app here. Notes, wow, that is a very satisfying tactile feedback. And let's write something. Hello, my name is Mark, and that rhymes with shark. So I mean, at first glance there, I didn't miss too many of my keys. Every keyboard, you know, it does take a second to get used to. But what you'll also notice is that it has these two legs to adjust like most keyboards. Um, but yeah, that'll give you um, a definitely different kind of ergonomic feel to it. One thing I do wish this keyboard did have, but then again, you can't complain too much, it's a $30 keyboard, is uh, there's no backlighting. Is that the end of the world? Absolutely not. Where you don't get backlighting, you get a very satisfying and kind of mechanical feel to the whole keyboard. I mean, overall, it's a great keyboard. If you're someone who's on a little bit of a tighter budget and you want to get that mechanical keyboard for gaming, for typing, but I mean, obviously, mechanical keyboards are kind of tailored to the gaming community. More than welcome to type on this. Anyways, so that is the Aki 87 key keyboard. I'm a huge fan. Like I said before, Aki makes great products, very budget friendly, very good quality. It is a metal panel constructed keyboard, so you do get that solid, that great, great kind of feel. And, and I mean, in terms of grip, let's see. You've got the two legs that do have rubber and the, so regardless if you're using it flat or on an angle, you do have that support there. So your keyboard won't be going anywhere. It's a very good, very basic, very kind of reliable keyboard, if you will. That is the best way I can put it. I will, of course, have a link down in the description for both the American and the Canadian links to Amazon if you are interested in purchasing this keyboard. It will get the job done. It is not fancy by no means, but it is reliable, it is budget friendly, and it's a very good keyboard. So, if you are looking for this keyboard, there will be links down in the description. But if you like this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button is down below. For additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description, but for now, thank you and I will see you on the next one.